Ah, coffee, sweet nectar of the gods, always so delicious, so empowering, and once illegal? Welcome to Facts in Five, the series that covers the coolest and most interesting facts on a topic in five minutes or less. For today's caffeine charged episode, I'll be telling you some incredible things you never knew about that morning cup of joe. Like for example, how in 1675, it became outlawed in England when King Charles II became worried that coffee shops were where people were conspiring against him. In addition to royal paranoia, the brew that we all love has a huge number of amazing facts that you need to hear to believe. Add cream and sugar if needed because today's Facts in 5 is all about coffee. So what is coffee? Now this might seem like an obvious question, but the real answer is going to surprise you. Of course it's a hot beverage made from brewing roasted and ground beans, but did you know that those beans aren't actually beans at all, they're fruit pits. Coffee beans are seeds from the bright red berries of the coffee plant. In fact, the beans that come out of the berry aren't even the brown color that we're all familiar with. They're actually green. They only become brown through the process of drying them out and roasting them, which causes them to pop and double in size. And if you were to walk into a cafe, you could order any number of different coffee beverages. However, they aren't made with special beans. Drinks like espresso use the same beans as a regular cup of coffee, only ground much finer. But perhaps one of the most fascinating things about it is that that simple beverage that you drink every day is much more. It's actually the second most valuable commodity traded by developing countries second only to petroleum. So who discovered coffee? Well, it's believed that coffee originated in Ethiopia as far back as the 10th century but the first evidence of drinking it was in the Sufi monasteries of Yemen in the 15th century. The effects of coffee were discovered when farmers found their goats eating the berries of the coffee plant and then found them acting crazed as they started running around and dancing. Does anyone else want to see a bunch of baby goats jumping and dancing around or is that just me? Now instant coffee was invented in 1906 by a Belgian man named George Washington, not the president, who was living in Guatemala, but that's not the only great invention involving coffee. In 1991, at Cambridge University, a small group of scientists, fed up with always finding the coffee pot empty, set up a camera pointed straight at the break room coffee machine. They streamed the footage live on the web so that they could see before standing up if there was any brew left. That's right, the first webcam ever made was for coffee. Where does coffee come from? Needing specific conditions to survive, all coffee is grown along the strip of the earth called the coffee belt. This tropical area delivers lots of sunshine and heat to the coffee plants. Exported from these areas, coffee is sent all over the world and often in ridiculously large quantities. For instance, did you know that New Yorkers drink nearly seven times more coffee than any other city in the USA? Or how about the Netherlands where people consume an average of 2.4 cups of coffee every day? The entire population must be constantly trembling on a caffeine high. <laughs> When does coffee affect us the most? Well, research shows that coffee is most effective if it's consumed in late morning, specifically between 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. It only takes about 10 minutes to start feeling the effects of coffee on your body, and it's been proven that drinking coffee before a workout leads to a better physical performance. Not only does caffeine increase adrenaline, but it releases fatty acids from fat tissues and increases your metabolism by as much as 3 to 11%. It's also important to note that if you're one of those people who have lived on energy drinks and have since replaced them with coffee, it might interest you to know that there is more caffeine in a single grande cup of coffee than your average energy drink. So why should we drink coffee? Well, believe it or not, drinking that cup of joe can actually extend your life. Coffee is the dominant source of antioxidants in the average diet in Western civilization. Those antioxidants help the body fight off diseases such as Parkinson's disease, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. In addition, consuming a cup of coffee significantly improves blood flow. Studies have shown that people who drink upwards of 4 cups of coffee a day are 80% less likely to develop a condition called cirrhosis. If that wasn't enough for you, another study revealed that regular coffee drinkers are 65% less likely to develop Alzheimer's. So as it turns out, that cup of joe isn't bad for you after all. Bottoms up. 
I want to give a big thanks to Coffee Mate for sponsoring this video. Bonus fact, one in five cups of coffee in the United States are whitened with Coffee Mate. That's a lot of coffee. They've teamed up with Star Wars to create limited edition collectible bottles. And of course, they sent me them from the beautiful United States of America because they know how much I love Star Wars and coffee. Not only do they look cool, but the flavors make perfect sense for the characters. Like Darth Vader repping that espresso chocolate, it's like liquid dark side. Like I said, they're limited edition, so be sure to collect all five before they're gone. Although, if any of you are fans of the franchise like I am, I'm sure you're already on it. Thanks again for watching, guys, and be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what you want the topic of the next Facts and Five to be. Remember to click that red subscribe button to be notified of future videos on my channel. On the right, you'll find an annotation to my last video, as well as an annotation to my second channel, where I make vlogs, unboxings, and more, so be sure to subscribe to that. And you'll also find an annotation to my merch store if you feel like picking up some cool swag. And as always, for all of you on your mobile device, such as tablets or phones, all of the links I just mentioned will be in the description below. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!